It gave us a great excuse to do a top three of hoisting the white flag. And I'm talking about when the interviewee gets himself in such a position that he knows there's no coming back and he basically just gives up. So a quick little top three just to kick things off tonight. And we're going to start at number three with this. Oh, I love I, I laugh when I think of this. It's former swan, Eamon Buchanan. Oh, no, Ames. I think, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they're out of form, but... As I said, it's finals football. It's it's um, not gonna. It's just gonna take um, you know us to. We, I don't know what I'm talking about. It, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that is oh, so good. We've all been there. <laughs> we, have, we have all been there. Coming in at number two is former catch star Billy Brownless, who decided that running for parliament would be a really good idea. <laughs> oh dear. One of the big issues in North Geelong, literacy with uh, school children, uh, drug abuse, what are the big issues in North Geelong? Uh, yeah, always. But, uh, as you know, I, 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 I haven't got a great uh, feel of it, and that's what I've got to look at. <laughs> uh, one thing is, uh, Billy, um, um, what's your position on the independence of the Auditor General? <laughs> yeah, uh, baby. <laughs> Oh, Funny okay. enough, did not last that long, <laughs> Billy's political career. Yeah, about a week. And then coming in at number one, another would-be politician in Aussie rugby oh. league legend, oh, right, no. Mal Meninga. Oh, no. The thing about that is that I was, I guess, a public figure and I was put a, on a, as a as on the podium where I was just a person out there making sure that I was... Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm bugging <laughs> That's the best. The best. He, just, he just summed her all up. He said, I'm buggered. I'm buggered. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Oh, hey, it Very was good. a fun build up coming into <laughs> round eight. Young Tiger Patrick Naish was lucky not to have been dropped before the match against GWS, as his coach, Damien Hardwick, told David King on Friday Night Footy. Have any threatened their own selection through what they've done during the week with the coach? <laughs> Yeah, Paddy Nace was probably pretty close <laughs> this afternoon. I was, uh, I missed out on a meal on the plane, so I was a little bit hangry and he pressed every button in the lift, so he very much, he nearly started on the bench tonight, so he uh, can sound himself like he was already on the side, but he bring any replacement. Yes, <laughs> old trick. With Geelong skipper Joel Selwood out injured, the responsibility falls to vice-captains Paddy Dangerfield and also Mark Blitzarves. Now... We know that some people are more comfortable talking than others, and Mark Blitzars was very quick to point out that he's very happy to let Danger do the talking. <laughs> I'd be happy to do the coin toss and let uh, Paddy do the speech. I, I gave the boys a bit of a rev up, rev up maybe two days before the game against Collingwood, and it was a train wreck. <laughs> Scotty, said, Scotty said the best speeches are not often planned. He came up to me and said the best speeches are not often planned. But a little bit of planning needs to go into him. <laughs> I don't know why, but I need to hear a speech from Mark Lutzhaus. I reckon he would be hilarious. <laughs>